So I'm very new to competitive Pokemon. There was a couple months where I was dipping my toes in team building and singles, but Scarlet and Violet is the first game where I'm actually trying out the VGC format, which is doubles. So needless to say, I am a goddamn toddler when it comes to this format. But one thing I do have is the drive to play this game competitively. Ever since I've touched the VGC scene, I've been absolutely addicted. Playing ranked, watching competitive, and team building, even though I'm absolute ass at it, has been a lot of fun for me. So with my six-year-old mindset of team building, I managed to build a team that took me to top 500 in ranked, which as a new player, I'm kind of proud of. And if you guys want a separate video on the team, make sure to let me know down in the comments below. I'd definitely be down to make one. And being decently high in the ladder, it's only inevitable that I'm going to run into a player that is way better than me. And what more of a warm welcome for a new player than to queue into a goddamn Pokemon champion? We're talking about the GOAT, the man himself, Aaron Cybertron Zhang, the man who climbs the VGC Series 2 ranked ladder and provides a live commentary at as he goes. Now there are some absolutely insane battles that I want to show you guys before that, but if you guys want to see how the battle with the VGC Lord himself went, make sure to stick around. But with that being said, enough talking. Let's get into it. Oh, and during the battle with Cybertron, I absolutely forgot to record my game audio. I'm sorry, I'm a fucking idiot. This looks like that team that won the tournament, but they changed one Pokemon. This is gonna be tricky. That's a Terra Flying Dragonite with Terra Blast. Uh, I'm just gonna have to save my Terra so we can spoil the Dragonite. But that Dragonite's Lumber, actually. Yeah, the Dragonite's Lumber. Yeah, I might go with my own Dragonite. Yeah, I'm down. Alakin and Golden Go. Alakin and Golden Go. I could double protect here and see what he actually wants to go for. Because this is kind of... They're both pretty decent threats to my team. Yeah, I think double protecting here is fine. Yeah, I'm down. It's a pussy play, but I kind of want to see what he goes for here. I could I, I could be getting like free info on his Terra anyway. Yep. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Terra Steel. All right. How do I deal with a Terra Steel Golden Girl? That is probably Specs. I'm going to be honest. I don't want this Polyper to get off the Tailwind. I don't know if Terra Fire is going to do me any good here. I kind of want to save my Terra for Dragonite. I'll be brought down to Sash, but it's kind of whatever. I guess I could switch in Taros as well. But honestly, I want to stay in and power them this yeah you know what okay, we'll stay in we'll stay in power gem that I, I we don't really need her because i'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna die anyway power gem kills now palatin comes back in and we're gonna have some issues to deal with three more turns of rain all right so we have jet punch for flutter Alpin comes back in here it just depends on who he wants to jet punch if anything i feel like he would want to jet punch my i don't really need flutter main for anything here i feel like he wants to jet punch my moth so we'll swap in taros and protect on moth i i feel i feel like 100 there's no way that he doesn't go for jet punch on moth because there's no way i can kill his golden goal right he has to go for jet punch on moth and now I think I can get away with tearing steel and wisping. Oh, what? Interesting play. It's not what I was expecting. Well, he's just wasting turns of green, so this is actually really good for me. Ooh, now I kind of want to two more teams turns of rain. I could I could I'm gonna go for a hard read here I think yeah, I'm gonna go for a very hard read here. I believe yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go for a fucking super hard read here. Oh I'm him I'm him. Oh If you rage powdered the pieces have come together. I'm an actual master puzzle solver if you rage powdered, please dude Tell me I'm him. Okay. I'm not him, but that's okay. That means he scored. That's still a good thing though. That's still really good. I fucking missed, dude. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, we're gonna have like one more turn of rain. Do I wanna reswap in Flutterman? I feel like Flutterman's not doing me any favors. So I'm almost on to protect and we'll save Intim slash Burn for the other reason we have to do with that. Okay, if I didn't miss that Wisp, bro, I would have been in good shape. Oh, wait. This kind of works. Okay, this kind of works. Uh, okay, yeah, rain's out. I think I can just get away with a heat wave now, no? Uh, I think a heat wave will actually end up killing this Alvin. Maybe. I really hope it does. He probably jet punches into my flutter main, which is fine. Uh, if he doesn't, then if he switches back into golden gold, that's taking a heat wave plus a shadow ball. And I think a heat wave plus a shadow ball should be able to kill this Amoongus. I, he just rage batteries, that's what I was expecting. I think a heat wave should kill, I think. 
That wait, that was not the play to make there, though. That was just not the play to make. Okay, his priority is gone now. And unless he's Scarf on Golden Goal, then I'll be fine. Okay, because uh, my Taros build has exactly enough speedy beast to outspeed a max speed to Golden Goal. So, all right, full, full HP Golden Goal. Uh, now we can get away with another Heat Wave. That works. That works out a lot. Don't miss. Don't miss. Don't you dare. Don't you dare miss. Nice! And I outspeed. Nice. Oh my god! I just played out of my mind, dude. I just played out of my mind, bro. N9 Kai just went idiotic, dude. That was sick, dude. That was actually one of the sickest games I've ever played in my life. Holy proud. Muffas are playing checkers. Well, I'm playing chess. What? Is this team definitely hypnosis gravity? That is four damage here. Actually, maybe just bringing Taros for offense might be better for me here. I actually think I want to. Oh, you know what's gonna happen here? Oh, we'll just do this, I guess. I don't even think we need to waste our Terra here. It's getting rid of gravity off rip is kind of huge for me. I'm, I'm expecting protect on his Spathora, Terra, not maybe not even a Terra. Yeah, protect the Spathora and gravity most likely, but he won't even get it off because he's just gonna die off rip. Oh no, is he gonna get it off actually? I actually think he is. I should have. Oh, he earth powered. Oh. Oh, that's a one for one. I thought he was gonna gravity, which is why I just didn't choose to turn there. Honestly, I could have just energy ball then. Alright, it's about to get speed boost. What is my angle here? Because Talonflame comes out, I can just. Hydrogen comes out. Uh, Alright, so my angle here is probably protect Fluttermane and pounce the Aspathra, because he's probably going to Terra Hydrogen here. I should probably Terra my Caesar here, honestly. Yeah, protect Fluttermane, Terra Caesar, expecting a Heat Wave and pounce onto the Aspathra. I'm just expecting a new wave. Oh my god, bless. Oh my god, I'm smart sometimes. He loved to see it. As long as he misses this hypnosis, I'm fine. If he even went for hypnosis. He couldn't went for Luminic Rash into Fluttermane as well to guarantee get a kill with Heat Wave. Oh my god, I'm gaming! I'm fing gaming, dude! I'm playing the game! I, if I lose this now, dude, if I lose this now, I swear to god. He missed! Oh my god, you love to see it. You love to see it. You love to see it. Oh my god, you absolutely love to see it. It's Covert Cloak is Spather as well. Uh, okay, I think I'm... Con Ooh, what do I want to do here? Power jumping into the Hydrogen is fine. I would rather not have this Spather. We're gonna bullet punch it out of safety, just in case he thinks I'm not gonna read it protect. Okay, yeah. This is still fine though. Power jump will do at least 40%. Pods, I guess. At least 40%. Oh, come on, bro. Oh, that is AV as f bro. That is so AV. Oh my god. Uh, I think at this point, it's probably in my best interest to switch this. It's probably just bundle in the back, honestly. Bullet Punch is fine, I think. Oh, wait. If he has Serena, that could be bad. Because then Bullet Punch won't do any damage. But the fact, considering the fact he hasn't switched out, I don't think he has Serena in the back. It's, it's most likely bundle. Meeting that freeze dry is still an issue. Could also just this house. It's really fine. Freeze dry would be really bad. Okay. Uh, I kind of just lose the bundle to be completely honest. I need to kill this bundle. It just depends on who he sees as the bigger threat. I have to protect something here. It just is he gonna go for the freeze dry? Or is he gonna go for the hydro pump? I'm gonna call that he goes for the hydro pump. Or the freeze dry, I mean. No, he went for the Hydro Pump. Fuck, bro. Oh, of course. That's not what we wanted. That's not what we wanted, bro. Definitely Sash Bundle. You could protect and Snarl here. So I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna protect I'm gonna predict the protect Snarl and CC into the Hydrogen. Yes! Okay. I'm going to have to be very methodical here. I, I, I just don't believe that a bullet punch kills that. It is AV, so it can't protect, but a power gem. I'm gonna need to power gem that and bullet punch into the hydrogen. I think that's my. Is that the only way I win? I believe that's the only way I win. 
And a bullet punch has to kill, no matter what. And a hydro pump needs to not kill me. Please kill, please kill, please kill. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, it's winnable, it's winnable, it's winnable. It just depends on what he did this turn. Yep. Makes sense. Okay. Do I die to a hydro pump? Live live health. Live health. Live health. A hydro pump can do Oh no, I win. Yeah, no 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 no, I win. I win. I win unless he crit hydro pumps. That's the only way he wins. Beautiful. Oh Dude, the games today are actually insane, bro. I'm going fucking crazy, man. I'm proud of myself. I'm actually proud of myself. Haha! <laughs> Wait, is this actually? Surely not. No. No. I respected you. I looked up to you, bro. I'm gonna lose it. Is this doable? I just like bullet punch into a lot of his team. Ha, <laughs> it. There's no shot this man is using Dozo. Moth Glim. Well, uh, yeah, fuck his moth. We're ripping him already. Early rip. Take move in under one second equals win. Actually true. The turn one turn real quick. We're taking this moth off the goddamn field. I don't care. I ain't dealing with this thing in long term. Surely he did not go for heat wave, right? Surely. Oh, that works out perfectly for me. So he breaks my sash. All right, well, his speed control is gone. All right, all right. Surely he did not bring Dozo in the back. Surely. Oh, we brought King Gambit in the back. Honestly, all we need to do is Heat Wave and switch in Bonnet, I feel like. Or Caesar. Nah, Caesar does like wonders here. I'm very down to switch in Caesar here. Probably tear it, King Gambit, right? Tear what? Ah! Ah ha ha! I missed! What'd I miss? Okay, I hit the Glamora. That's not that bad. Oh, it was a crit. Power Gem. I eat that. Leaves. Alright, well, that's Moth off the field. I feel like I'm chilling on that. Because now we can bring Flutter back in and Flutter can do some, some goddamn work. You, you feel me? Uh, yeah, let's bring Flutter back in here. So he doesn't have Dozo. That's good to know. Honestly, I'm down to... Could protect this. Protect this and bullet punch into Glamora. This actually might be the, the true Aryan Cybertron Zang. You see? He's analytical Andy. This man is picking his moves to the, to the T. Smartest video game player of all time. Like, actually... Ooh, he out. Ooh. Okay, who's his last mon? Oh, he sent out his own flutter. It's all good. I win these speed ties all day. I've never once in my life lost this speed tie. That's a goat guarantee right there. That's actually a goat guarantee. We're gonna shadow ball this. Yeah, it's okay. I win this speed tie. Like, all day I win this speed tie. Not a day in my life have I lost this speed tie. Oh! Oh, I'm in a good position now, maybe. Oh. Oh, he suckered into flutter. Oh! And I have two sets of spikes down. Okay, this is tragic now. This might be a little tragic. All right, we are now on a timer, which is cringe. What do we do here? We could spore that and bullet punch into this. You know, I'm almost down to like double. Like bullet seed that and bullet punch into this. I'm down for that. I thought it, it, it might be the AV set on a... Uh... Oh, yeah. A hundred percent kills all of the time, I think. Unless he has defense IVs. Oh wait. Oh, this needs to hit five times. Wait. This thing has this thing has bulk. Hit five times right now. No, bro. Why does this thing have bulk? Oh shit. I'm in a mind game now. Should I sucker it? Oh shit. Oh, Aaron Cybertron Zang has done it again. Oh, it was worth it. It was worth it. Alright, here's the question. Does one bullet seed kill? Probably not. Oh, the bitch got terror blast. Oh my god, Aaron Cybertron Zang has done it again. Do I die to poison? Surely not, right? Oh! He just has to sucker. Damn! Aaron Cybertron Zang got my ass with the Terror Blast. God damn it. Leave it to Aaron Cybertron Zang to just bring the game to a goddamn. I got tight T, dude. Damn it, boy. Alright, well, I have to get off anyway because it's time for me to edit videos, boys. Damn, I dropped a rank from that, too. Fuck. GG's, though. Uh, that was a good fight. All right, I do have to edit some videos though. So everybody that stuck around, appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Uh, I hope y'all have a good night slash day every round of the world.